Hey guys, welcome back. I decided to do something different today because truthfully I'm just sick and tired of sitting in the room that I normally film in. So I have a baby down here with a basket of toys and hoping it buys me the time I need to get this video out. So I, for a while, have had an ongoing holiday shopping list. I've kind of chunked this into several categories, a personal shopping list. So things I've had my eye on, waiting to see if, if brands are gonna do sales around the holidays, also, um, things I want to stock up on from particular brands a wish list So this will be things that I will be sending my husband <laughs> and then a planning gifts list Which is right now quite short. I guess I'm a relatively last-minute shopper I really have no idea what I'm gonna get my kids yet I tend to just get inspiration as we get further into the holiday season but given that as I mentioned in my get ready with me video that deals keep starting earlier and earlier I wanted to get something of a holiday shopping guide out just to let you know what's on my radar what I'm interested in and I have a list on my phone so that's what I'm going to be referring to and let's just do this because I have very very limited time the baby's now um, playing with the internet router <laughs> All right, let's start off with my personal shopping list. So I have beauty and lifestyle within this category. So within beauty, I will definitely be keeping an eye on InLight directly from InLight. You know, Beauty Heroes has already had their 20% off, but I'm gonna see what InLight does as far as a discount or a gift with purchase. I can always stock up on InLight things, face cleanser, floral tonic, the masks. I may actually get one of the balms, like either the deep moisture balm, which is more of a daytime balm, or why am I blanking on the name of their really intensive balm, the one that came in Beauty Heroes years ago. So there's also a couple things that Beauty Heroes doesn't carry that I would be interested in picking up the Supreme face oil set. It's like a four week system and the hair oil I really like. In Fiore, I for sure think I'll be placing an order this holiday season. I would really like another pot of the V Clear Supreme, which is an eye cream, maybe a Tangier's body balm, maybe another Fleur V Bronze Serum Serret. I haven't decided yet. The only thing I know for sure that I really want is the V Clear. I've tried it before and I absolutely love it. Virid Botanicals, I forget the full official name of this brand. I love Virid. I have for a number of years. I'm thinking I might pick up some perfume. I would like another Sacred Love Rollerball. Um, and I may get some skincare as well. Virid has the same opulent quality that Infiore does. They're quite similar, I guess, energetically to me and my experience. I'm just kind of craving that lately. Manasi 7 for makeup. I definitely have a running list of things I would still like to add to my collection. I will be doing a Manasi brand review probably sometime in November. Manchetti, Duras, Delirio, the strobe lighter, Ikura. I feel like there's a couple of other things on my list. I'm not remembering off the top of my head, but oh, another precision mascara. I need a backup of that. Ritual Defi, I would like to replace my Narcissus, I forget, it's a lip product, but they have two, like a, a lip tint and like a lipstick. And I absolutely love the shade Narcissus. It's one of the very few times that a PR product that was sent to me was actually became one of my very, very favorite products. I recently, within the last three months or so, had picked up a cushy makeup bag, K-U-S-S-H-I, terrible name, <laughs> but I learned about these from the beauty professor a couple of years ago and they've been on my radar. And I had gotten a small leather makeup bag in honor of kind of all my obsession with Manasi and I need the bigger versions. I have the small one, but I'd like to get the tan leather with red interior makeup bags in the medium and the large sizes. So I just kind of have a complete set. I'm gonna keep my eye on the brand Perma Earth. When I was still following a bunch of pro metabolic people and alternative health influencers, which I don't anymore because I think it's just absolutely topic for another day. But I did come across the brand Perma Earth and they do tallow based products for that. I also really like the brand Mira Miris and I have some of her tallow cream and I really like it. So that's another brand to maybe keep on your radar. But Perma Earth, I wanted to stock up on some things for my kids. They do all natural bath bombs, which I think would be fun. 
and soaps and I think they do shampoo bars and that kind of thing. Ancient Minerals, I really like their magnesium flakes to add to my suite of bathing products. So they do large bags of magnesium chloride flakes and I really like them. And so if they're doing some kind of deal, I would definitely stock up. I guess that's sort of lifestyle, hybrid lifestyle and beauty. And then Babo Botanicals, is I use a lot of their stuff for the kids, for baths in particular. I really like the Sensitive Skin Unscented shampoo and and wash and then i like the calendula i think it's like calendula and oat milk bubble bath so normally they do like a 30 to 40 percent off and i buy a whole bunch to last me you know for the next six months or so okay lifestyle we're still on my personal shopping list just things that i'm looking to get a deal on ozone machine there's an expensive one from the brand crucial four but i have my eye more on the one from the brand Therasage, who also makes infrared saunas. I mostly want the ozone machine to be able to ozonate water, but really to clean produce. That's actually the main purpose that I want it for. You ozonate a large basin of water and you can clean produce that way, um, as opposed to something like an, sorry, apple cider vinegar soak type of thing, which is what I do now. But yeah, I've been wanting an ozone machine. I think they're a good investment. Uh, if you're alternative minded. I have a good book called The Ozone Miracle in my Amazon shop, or you know, linked in my Amazon shop if you wanna learn more about how beneficial ozone and ozonated products are. I would really like the Analima water structuring wand. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with this product. I learned about it within the last year. And it's just like a little crystal, it looks like a coffee stirrer and you just stir your water with it and it structures the water. That's my really superficial understanding of it. I have a whole video on Patreon from a couple years ago about water structuring. And at the time I was going through this like extremely elaborate, laborious process that did not last very long to structure water. I do have a Soma Vedic, but don't use it. I use it more just for ambient energy harmonization, I guess you could say, and not, you can put water by it and it will structure the water. Let me get kind of the, the alternative health hippie type of stuff out of the way. Blue Shield is an investment that I made within this last year in addition to the Soma Vedic, which I got last holiday season. I may, I can't remember if I initially got Blue Shield during holidays or slightly after, but Blue Shield, it's not an EMF mitigator. I don't really like a lot of the EMF mitigation language and community. And the reason I like the Blue Shield is it emits coherent frequencies that your body naturally wants to attune to and it's able to then kind of disregard some of the non-native EMF bombardment. We have a plug-in and then I also have a cube that I have yet to set up, but I'm interested in getting some Blue Shield portables just to take with us when we're out and about. And I'm really the only one in the family that cares about this or pays attention to it, but hopefully everyone else is benefiting as well. Along with Blue Shield, this is related, I'll be keeping my eye on whatever sort of deal Shen Blossom does. Shen Blossom is a Chinese medicine herbal online boutique purveyor of rare, really exquisite medicinals. And it's run by Brandon Amalani, who's the United States Blue Shield distributor. So the two companies are kind of linked, I guess, at least in my mind. I've tried a bunch of Shen Blossom products over the last year and I absolutely love them. I kind of one of everything from the entire shop, but I would like a re-up of the rice sprouts. I give those to my kids, the Biotian ampules, Mm, the dental care, I really like the tooth powders. I'd like to pick up some of their soy sauce and miso. I have the gobo root oil, lots of, and I have the throat sprays and the cough syrup, and they do a bunch of really beautiful medicinal mushrooms. I have the MSM powder. So probably my favorite niche supplement company. Crucial Four is another supplement company I like a lot, and if they're doing a deal, I would pick up uh, some replacements on a couple things. I like their colostrum. I like their mushroom tinctures. I loved the chaga tincture. I'm trying to think what else. I'd like to try their pine pollen, which I haven't tried yet. I actually have a whole video on Patreon giving you a tour of my supplement drawer and um, you know the things I give the kids. I would say Crucial Four, Perfect Supplements, Lifeblood are probably the main companies that I'm shopping from now. 
So to that end, I would probably also keep an eye on what Lifeblood is doing. I've been taking uh, his magnesium and I really like it as well as his uh, mushroom tinctures I think are really, really good. Okay, moving out of the health realm, I absolutely love the set of linen bed sheets that I got from the brand Bed Threads for my birthday. I think I got a gift certificate from my mom. I asked for it and I got a set of linen bed sheets in this absolutely beautiful light lavender lilac color and they're absolutely exquisite. The quality is so nice. I also have linen sheets on my soon to be four year old's bed. It's just the Casa Luna brand from Target and they're very nice, especially for a kid's bed. Um, but if you want something the next step up in quality but you don't wanna spend six or $700, which is what Koyuchi linen sheets cost, I think bed threads, they're pricey still. But I'd like to get a set of linen sheets for our guest bed, and then I'd like to get a linen duvet if they have them for my preschoolers comforter. Continuing on with textiles, I really like <laughs> this Canadian clothing company called Simply Merino. I'm really trying to get away from fast fashion. I recently had my color analysis done with the color key so I have a better understanding of the colors that are good investment pieces for me but they also do kids clothes as well and I had placed an order recently this fall and absolutely loved the quality uh, of the clothing so I'd like to pick up some more things from them. Packed Organics is another really good organic clothing brand that is good to just stock up on staples, undershirts, underwear, socks, you know, that kind of thing, especially if you have a family. So I'll be picking up some of that stuff for sure. Wellness is the toothpaste brand that we use. I The mint for adults and the strawberry for kids. So I'll do a restock of that if they do some kind of deal. Okay, now we're gonna transition into my wish list. So this is gonna be my Christmas list. That I've wanted this since my birthday and we were just in limbo in terms of if we were gonna be moving or what was going on and it's the Relax Far Infrared Sauna. You've probably seen these on social media if you're in the you know alt health space at all, but they're like a zip up tent. Your head sticks out and you can just sauna in, you know, basically like you don't have to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to build a sauna in your house. You can get one of these portable ones. So I love red light therapy and I think it would be a great gift, especially for the winter time. Kuyana, which is, that's actually where this, this shirt is from. I really like Kuyana. I have like a bunch of their loungewear and I have some tops as well and I love them. And they do like a whole small leather goods accessories collection and they have these really beautiful travel cases. So if you're someone that travels with an extensive supplement routine or just a lot of products, I've heard really good things about, I think they're structured and they kind of have a zip top and they're leather. A couple of makeup brushes, the Sonia G Eye Fusion Set, this brand came on my radar recently through someone on Patreon. She has a shared love of Manasi cream products and she told me that she splurged on the Sonia G Eye Fusion Set which is made for powders and creams and that it elevated the experience to even another level. I recently did a brush declutter and collection video on Patreon if you'd like to go see that and I've slowly actually been adding to my makeup brush collection so I'll probably have to do an update to the makeup brush collection video sometime soon or within the next year probably but Sonia G Eye Fusion Set it's like five or six brushes and then there's two Surratt brushes. Surratt is probably, since Wayne Goss retired his squirrel hair brushes, I think he now pretty much only does goat hair brushes, I think. Surratt has become probably my favorite, you know, handcrafted Japanese style brush, uh, natural fiber brush. I would really like the angled face brush. I have the largest uh, face brush, which I absolutely adore. And then I have, I think the cheek brush. They do an angled face brush as well. So I'd like that. The Surratt foundation brush, which is a mix of goat and synthetic hair. So it's for applying cream products. Okay, I have two Le Creuset um, kitchen <laughs> uh, cookware items on my list. One of them is out of stock. I don't know if it'll come back in before the holidays, but it's the nine quart oval Dutch oven. I have, I think a four and a half or five quart circular Dutch oven. And it's like my total staple kitchen item. It's like the one thing I would take if 
I could only take like one thing from my kitchen. I It was gifted to me many, many years ago by my sister and her now husband. I just, I cook so much in it, you know, soups, stews, I braise meats, I can bake sourdough bread in it if I want, but I would like a much bigger one so that I can do larger batches of braised meats, larger batches of food. My round Dutch oven is in the shade meringue, so it's sort of an off-white cream color, so I think I would like the same color. And then I'd really like an enamel stock pot. I have just a stainless steel stock pot for making bone broth. Yeah, you know, I think with that long of cooking time, the metals can potentially leach out, so enamel is probably a better bet if you're gonna be making bone broth stovetop. And then I have two stores that I would love gift certificates from, Reformation and Cezanne, so that I can continue my color typing, capsule wardrobe, clothing shopping. <laughs> Lito is a jewelry company that I'm always asking Kav to <laughs> keep on his radar. I mean, we're neither of us are like big accessories or jewelry people. I certainly don't really have occasion to wear much jewelry taking care of small children right now, but I loved the brand Lito, which I believe is based in Greece. Years ago had done collaborative work with Infiore. I think Julie Elliott knows the designer behind Lito. And I don't know, I just absolutely love love her pieces. I think they're so stunning. The shortest section is the gift section, and I hope that doesn't seem, you know, like not not generous or whatever. It's just that I am doing this video so early that, like I said, I haven't had time to really conceptualize what I'm going to be getting for people. So I'll get some things for Kav. He definitely needs some new clothes, so that's gonna take a fair amount of mental energy. I'd also love to have him color typed, so I'm considering that. Uh, and he, need, he wants a new set of AirPods as his are sort of completely non-functional. So new set of AirPods, clothes, we'll see what else. For my sister's kids, I'm thinking about gifting them a Bunny Hopkins gift certificate because we're so happy with our climbing triangle and they do other, uh, you know, handmade wooden uh, climbing structures and wobble boards and things like that. So I think that could be a nice gift. Last year, I think we just gifted the family an Airbnb gift certificate. For my sister, I was thinking maybe a color key analysis uh, would be a nice gift. She has a birthday in November, but I've already gotten, gotten her some things. I got her a bunch of um, stationary type things from Anthropology because she works at home. And I got her the In Light Skin Aid Kit. And I don't know, I think I got her some dish towels and kitchen stuff from anthropology as well i think hand picking out gifts is nice because gift certificates are great but then it's like the onus is on the person to then do the mental energy to pick something out so the, one year my sister got me three tops from madewell for my birthday and it was incredible because i just had them i didn't have to pick something out and order it and um yeah, so I, I am kind of trying to pick out gifts rather than give gift cards, but with the Bunny Hopkins, I think a gift card would make sense. Um, for my mom, I'll probably get her some Iuna products or an Iuna gift certificate because she loves, loves them. I was also thinking about getting her some linen bed sheets from Bed Threads. For my own kids, I'm thinking maybe a wobble board from Bunny Hopkins just to add to our collection. Um, my preschooler is getting to the age where he's asking for like a, a play structure in our backyard. He wants a tube slide and I, it's obviously not a great time of year, winter to do that. I, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen and he's not, Neither of them are really do any big gifts, especially because they both have birthdays in the fall, October and November. So I need to do some thinking about what their Christmas gifts are going to look like. And that'll probably end up being more last minute, but I really like Bella Luna for heirloom types of toys. The Tot has some nice stuff. I peruse recommendations from places like Busy Toddler and the Kavanaugh Report. They'll probably both get clothes of some variety, Simply Merino stuff, or Mini Miosh is another favorite brand of mine. Maybe some nice new shoes. Last Christmas I had gifted the preschooler a pair of Vivo Barefoots and I had gotten them in a size too big and now they fit perfectly. So those are his everyday shoes right now. I may get like a new pair of Bobix shoes for my one-year-old. They make really, really nice. I think they're drop sole shoes. My now four-year-old has gone through several pairs of their boots. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, my next video is going to be on Patreon. I'm doing my top eight products from my eight favorite skincare brands. And then I have no idea what my next video on YouTube is gonna be. I always take requests. If there's a type of video or content you'd really like to see from me, please drop a comment below. I think at the time you're seeing this, my new website will have been published. So you can head over to lamorilamusique.com. I'm starting to blog again, pulling back more from social media, particularly Instagram, and focusing just more on blogging. I'd like to get back into Pinterest. You can also come over to patreon.com slash lamorilamusique to see all of the extra work that I do over there on a very regular basis, podcast episodes, videos, live Q and A's, and live get ready with me's every week. You can join any time of the month and they will auto bill on the day you join rather than the first of the month. It's an excellent change that they made to their billing model. Okay, now I think I'm done. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.